Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty and I'm coming on today. I want to talk about a couple of things, but the first thing that I really want to discuss is being an empath. And so the question I'm going to ask you is, do you know if you are an empath? Here's basically what an empath is. An empath is someone who either physically or emotionally feels other people's energy. And so if you're someone who is a physical empath, you could be on the phone with someone, you could be watching them on the screen, you can be with them. And they say maybe they have a pain or they have a sore throat or they're coughing or their ear hurts or they have a headache, whatever and you suddenly feel the pain. It's like you took on their stuff. In the beginning of doing Reiki, so five years ago, six years ago, when I would start, what would end up happening was as I put my hands on somebody, I would literally start to feel it inside my body. It would make me feel nauseous. I would feel it in my stomach. And that's when I knew that I was taking on other people's stuff, other people's physical, stuff that was going on. An emotional empath is someone who walks into a room, for example, and feels the energy of the room. It's a room that like you cannot wait to get out of. Or you're in a store and the store doesn't feel good to be in. Or the store feels great to be in because you're feeling a different kind of energy. You're definitely someone that is in tune with themselves. You're definitely someone that is highly sensitive. Now let me back up. You might be in tune with stuff, but you don't realize it. And that's also important for today. You're definitely someone that is highly sensitive, highly intuitive to energy. Now for the last year, we have been going through this pandemic. And with that, this has not, was never just physical but it has not been physical. Everyone has had a myriad of emotions, ups and downs that they have been experiencing. My videos, this video will never be telling you what you should or should not feel, how you should or should not perceive, or what you should or should not do. But if you are someone who is an empath, I want you to begin to maybe Take inventory and see how you're feeling about everything that is going on. And the reason why I'm doing this video today is because it came to me while I was driving. Um, someone told me today that one of the colleges in New Jersey, one of the universities have decided that they are going to mandate the vaccines for every student that comes to that college in the fall. And that hurt my heart. And it hurt my heart because it is just so disappointing that the manipulation and the control is getting louder. Because I wake up every morning and I expect, I hope, I pray to God, and I just hope that it's gonna get a little bit better today and a little bit better tomorrow. And then there seems to be always something that is just getting louder and louder and louder to show that it's just the opposite of what I am hoping for. And I'm still going to hold that hope because I understand this is a process of human collective consciousness ascending. And this is the way it has to happen. But I guess what is so upsetting is that these things that are occurring, many, many people are just sitting back and saying nothing about and just complying to without fighting back, without doing research, without just trying to understand. They just do it. And they do it because the, they trust that what they are being told is for their highest good, but in fact, a lot of these things are not. Power has been used so unfortunately, so terribly that it's not for our highest good. And so today's message is about being an empath. And if you are someone that is listening to this and is not an empath, you're probably not going to understand where I'm coming from. But I know many of my clients are dealing with this. And this is why I'm sharing this video is because many of you are empaths. And so if you're feeling a fluctuation in emotions, 
If you are feeling in the body a lot of pain, if you are feeling frustrated, if you are feeling anger, it, it, I could simply say to you, just you know, accept what's going on and move on because it is what it is and that is true. But I also want you to honor how you're feeling. And when there is really something that is deep and emotional for you, let it release. Let it release because today I did. I allowed it to release. I allowed it to come out. It was so upsetting to hear that now we're doing this. This is the next level of the control and manipulation and when is it gonna end? Because it's not okay, it's inhumane, it's unconstitutional. Everybody is a human being that has their free will to choose what is right for them and for any private entity to think we all live on in America. And America is the home of the free and the home of the brave. But things are changing. So as an empath, I invite you to do what I do after you do your releasing of your feelings and your emotions. You're human. You're going to have human feelings. You're going to have human emotions and human experiences through all of this. So you have to allow yourself to do that and allow yourself to honor that. But then after that, you have a choice. Your choice is do you want to journal about it to let it out? Do you want to speak on the topic because it's very close to your heart? Do you want to do something that's even going to help more and more people? That's why I do these videos. If I can just help one person through these videos, then that's why I do them because I want to help. I want to help people see beyond here because there's so much going on outside of that right here which is the three-dimensional way of thinking and beyond but there are many people that are not going to be that way and as an empath if that's you you can't get frustrated with them because everybody's going through this journey in their own way but if you feel emotions and if you physically feel people's stuff right now what I want you to possibly do for yourself is call upon Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is a huge Archangel and he walks around with a sword and he walks around with a shield. And he is the Archangel of strength, courage, and protection. And I think we all need that right now. I think we need it on a world level. And I do call him in and I do ask him to protect the world, but you know, I'm one person and everybody has free will and not everybody believes in this and i'm not about you believing it or not believing it it's about you just being protected and being safe but you have to feel that way so maybe it's important for you to shield yourself right now because right now with all of the energy that is so crazy and strong it's hard for us as empaths sometimes to not feel like we're carrying the weight of the world on our shoulders because we wanna help the world. You're helping the world by shining your light in any way, even if it's helping one person feel safe or feel comfortable in what they're going through in that moment. But as an empath, you have to remember to take care of yourself first and foremost and if it's if you're feeling heaviness whether it's emotional heaviness or whether it is physical heaviness everybody else is feeling it they may not even realize it but you do so put yourself in that protective bubble by calling upon archangel michael and asking him to put you in the bubble and protect you and shield you from the harsh energy that's out there right now because we need to be um, able to walk through this because this is happening whether we want it to or not and we signed up on this earth to be here now so let's do our part as best as we can as people that are empaths as people that want to help others remember to help yourself first we're going to get through it. We are. It's going to be intense at times, 
but we are going to get through it regardless. I wish you a great week and speak soon. Bye-bye.